Okay, welcome back again. And uh, in this video, continuing uh, to learn about uh, SQL for testers, uh, we will be talking about uh, um, queries, writing queries. So in my previous uh, video, I had uh, shown you as how you could go into one of these uh, uh, databases. We talked about AdventureWorks database. And uh, if I expand that, I go to one of the tables here. The tables was uh, resources employee. And I right click on that and I said select 1000 rows and it, it did write a query for me, right? It did write a query for me. And then I said, uh, okay, I'm going to delete that query and write my own query. Um, but as you can see the data, uh, you can see the data here, right? A lot of data here. So I'm going to write my own query. The way I'm going to write my own query is, uh, uh, this is what I'm going to do. I will say select and then I will, I will give the column names again the, these are the column names what you see here are the column names let's say i want to see the title of all my employees right and uh, i want to see um their marital status marital status marital status and i want to see their gender and i want to see their high date high date right so these are the columns i want to see now where are these columns these columns are in a table so i have to say from get me all that information from from the name of the table which is human resources resources and dot employee all right so i have to run that and in my previous video i've already shown you that if you go and then execute that you might get an error so just go and select that and then execute it and uh, here we are getting our we're getting our information back all right, so uh, we have here, um, let's say, marketing assistant, engineering manager, um, tool designer. Uh, some are males. Uh, this is marital status. Uh, some are males and some are females, right? And some of them, they are married and some of them, they are single. M for married and S for single, right? Okay, now, if let's say if I want to find out uh, who are my, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> single uh, female employees whoa um, we're not going anywhere with it just I happen to select that uh, you know uh, query so we have to write that query okay we we have to find out here who are our uh, single female um, single and female employees single and female right okay forget about single and female let's consider one thing at a time let's go with who are our single employees single employees okay so these are all the employees now if i want to find out single employees then that's a condition so the condition is done by where right give me the title marital status gender high date from there where where uh they have to be single right so what is single marital status right so marital marital status marital status equals single right that single needs to be put in single quote right so s s right so it will give me marital status this is married 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 so i have how many 290 employees here right now let's see how many of them are single and i want to find out like uh, who are those so when i do that and execute it right here is all my singles now single 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 let's see how many employees are single uh 144 out of 290 well it's a, it's a equal percent of them are uh, singles right almost half of them are singles right okay uh, let's say if i want to find out like uh, who uh, you know how many of them are married uh, uh, i would just go here and do an m and then execute that so i have these are all married right okay if i want to find out um, you know all my employees who are females not married and female and all just female so can i say a marital status is a f when i do that let's see what happens right there's nothing i mean you know because there was nothing like marital status being f what was f gender was f so i should say here gender gender is f so when i do that these are all my female employees and it doesn't matter they are single or married or whatnot but these are sing uh, these are female employees and how many are my female employees uh, uh 84 right so if i want to find out male employees so i will do an m 
and do that and these are all my male employees so male employees are a little more i guess 206 male employees right so we have uh, so you know now how to get the information right how to get uh, you know different information here depending on what you write in the where condition now let's say if we want male and and single right so this is where gender equals male and what equals single marital status so you say marital status equals uh single single now when we execute that this is going to give me all my single males all my single males right 109 of them are single males right all my single males now how about single females gender has to be f right single females this is all my single females how many i have i have 35 um single it this will not tell me if they are blonde <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> so whatever you want is what you could get depending on the data you have here right so it, it won't be able to tell you what it can tell you is uh you know let's say if you want to know the uh, new hire right new hire so if you see uh this database uh, this data the hire date in the database was uh 98 98 98 and then then we have 99 2000 and 2003 2003 is the new hire let's say so if i want you know uh everybody who were hired in the year 2003 right so what do i do um i forget about male female and all that right so i take it out so i want now the higher date the higher date higher date higher date uh, should be uh, greater than this number let's say 2003 uh, dash 01 dash 01 so anybody who is hired uh, you know um, let's say uh, 2003 after 1st January 1st January is anyway holiday right so any anybody which is who is hired after 1st January of 2001 we should see so when I do that how many people three people anybody who were hired in in 2002 and 2003 greater than 2002 that means that it will give you 2002 as well as it will give you 2003 now let's uh, do this so the, this many people were hired in 2002 and 2003 and uh, how many were female how many were female if if you count one two uh, three four four were female but if i have to find out what do i do i say and and gender gender equals uh, f right simple so when i run that it will give me all the females who were hired who were hired um after 2002 meaning in 2002 and 2003 well uh, so that's your um you know how to write queries uh, it's, it's a simple uh, way of writing queries where i have shown you how you can write queries so you will write uh, select from where and then i've shown you different ways of writing this query in my next video i'm going to be showing you um how to create a table how to create a table how to um enter information into that uh, table how to uh, edit information in that table how to write queries to uh, insert uh, uh, some employees or product or whatever how to uh, delete how to all that good stuff i'm going to be showing you in the next video once again i thank you so much for uh, watching this video and uh, please go to www.trainingright.com uh, to find more videos and to see a list of uh, some of our new upcoming courses and if you like what you're seeing here then uh, uh, i hope uh, you will find uh, our courses to be much more interesting and uh, you'll uh, have a lot more to learn in our courses once again thank you for watching this video and we hope to see you back in another video thank you